You have to know in Italy, the train are always in delay. Ah, bro. Always. Yeah. But uh, when. Uh, ve- quando c'era lui. <laughs> No. Arrivavano in orario Sì, sì Muschio se radio, podcast più fico Luis. Federico, Martin, Nuovo oh. triangolare, muschio, microfono, videocamere e luci Ospiti diversi, tanti nuovi amici 20 minuti, un'ora di argomenti Esai, impedibilità, gioco, in potenza, risate, pianti, rispetto, sincerità e approfondimenti Siamo negli anni venti Muschio selvaggio Idro massaggio La situazione è questa, praticamente Luis è in ritardo Non per colpa sua, il treno di Luis è in ritardo E io mi ritrovo da solo a fare una puntata in inglese col mio fantastico inglese insieme a Young Blood. Yay! Ciao! Ciao! How are you? How are you? Very well, man. I'm happy to be here. Oh, it's so hard. Basically, my English is very bad. My Italian is very bad. Yeah, but my English is the shittiest English you ever heard in your life. I mean, I could say that about my Italian, but I'm trying to learn, you know what I mean? Yeah. You could just... And it's hard for me to understand the accent. UK accent. My accent is very Fuck. different. Where are you from? The north, near Manchester. Manchester. I'm from a place called Doncaster, but no one ever knows Doncaster. where that is. Yeah, it's Yorkshire. A, sounds like a beer. Doncaster, it's pretty, it's it's like there's a lot of beer up there. Yeah, yeah. there is a lot of beer, beer and tarmac and rain. What is, where is that? Rain and, and, uh, ah, rain, rain, rain. and singing pavement. In the rain. And yeah, yeah, singing, rocking, singing, singing in the singing rain, in baby. The rain. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You are the, the future of the pop punk industry. Wow. Um, I don't know. I think, I think like we just make that music, don't we? You know what I mean? I think like, Yeah, you, you listen a lot of pop punk. I think your... I think I listen to. I mean, I I like pop punk. I liked it. It wasn't my main source of inspiration. I'm I a think. huge fan of pop pop. pop yeah, punk. Jimmy, I was Jimmy Eater, New yeah, Found Glory. Yeah, all that propaganda. I, I think for me, I was a little bit more like hardcore. Like I like Black Flag. I like the Sex Pistols. Oh, okay. I like the Clash. More, uh, more uh, yeah, more, dark. Yeah, a bit more dark, and I like Joy Division. I loved oh. Green Day. I loved Green Day. Green Day were my favorite band um, for many years. But I also loved Oasis and the Stone Roses. That's what I grew up on. You know what I mean? Mostly yeah. like British music out of the north. Because that's what my dad played. Yeah, you, you, you come from UK. You're not so Californian vibe. That was it. I mean, I, I, I remember, I remember... Like some oh, is this Luis? Hello, this ciao, is Luis. ciao, caramba! Welcome, welcome. welcome. thank you, Luis. Professional of me, I'm sorry. Oh, But dude, to be honest, it's not his professional. Fault. We don't like professionally. I'm, I'm happy that you like. That's like, not. I made it actually because I, we need like the moss on the screen behind you. No, so you, you have to know in Italy, the train are always in delay. Oh, bro, always. Yeah. But. Uh, When, uh, ve- quando c'era lui, <laughs> no. arrivavano in orario. There's an old saying where, <laughs> si, si. Yeah, there's an old saying where, where there's an old, when uh, there was Mussolini, the trains were, not, were never late. Oh, But, really? Wow. Yeah. You're, you're from England. I am from England. So you guys saved us. Yeah, I mean, oh. we, did, we, did, we did kick the fucking ass out of him, didn't we? You know what I mean? From, oh, oh, yeah. They, più, they, più gli americani. The Americans and the I mean, yeah, I think they, they did come they did come along and save us, you know what I mean? The Yanks. We've got to thank them for that. All right. Uh, we're, we're all set. Fucking hell, yeah. I didn't know what that was. I thought, yeah. I was, a, I thought it was a sex toy. <laughs> yeah, It's no, like, why the fuck are you pulling that out on like, a podcast? You like sex toy? I was like, fucking, I was like, I'm not yeah, seeing one like that. You, you like sex toy? I have a huge collection. Really? I, I actually like the, the British accent better. Do you? Yeah. Then American? Yeah. Yeah, Same, fuck, really. you are the original English. Fuck the U- US <laughs> English. I, I, it's a, I, a lot of people like my accent. Some people think it's not real, but really? it, it is, yeah. Because you, you, your aesthetic is, um, I mean, it's a mix of, of many cultures, but yeah. people probably uh, think that your aesthetic is American. I don't it's, know. It's very funny, to, to be honest, because it's like, When you hear me talk, people can take, people can imitate me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they, like, Hello, I'm young blood. Yeah, because your accent is very typical. Yeah, yeah. Like and uh, people can I- imitate me, and uh, so, so some people think I'm a bit of a caricature. <laughs> well, maybe I am, to be honest. <laughs> but I fucking like it. You know what I mean? Which which school you 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 did in your life? What I went to, I went to school till I was 15 and I went to London and I went to art school for a bit and I didn't like it and art I left. Art school? Yeah. yeah. What? 
I thought the lyrics are artistic, like us. Art school, like yeah. us. Yeah, we do all art. School. Yeah, we did, the, we did and, the same school. Yeah, and then I was like, and then I didn't really. I, it was, it was, it was like I liked the people there. Yeah. Um, and I liked the vibe, but I was kind of more about like going on my own. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I think I, I thought I was gonna learn a lot more. Like I found some cool. The cool thing about art school is like the t like. You know what I mean? Some of the teachers, like, they either love me or they hate me, but the ones who love you really teach you shit. Oh, yeah. You know what they're, I mean? They're they're artists. Yeah, so. and then, uh, but then I was just like, I think for what I wanted to do, like, I had to build it on, on my own. Yeah. You Sometimes, know what I mean? Don't you think about um, if you chosen, um, what if you chosen, like, a classic school, like a normal high school where you... Yeah. Um, I always think that when you do something classic, the artistic side of you gets um, explodes yeah explodes. It's, yeah it's 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 pretty it's pretty wild i think um i just think like when especially when you want to do something different even in art yeah you know what i mean even art can become fucking formulated yeah. can't it yeah you know especially I mean? if it becomes a, a job and yeah a fully and then, then it was just like nah i think i wanted to i basically like gigged around london met my guitar player lived with him wrote songs he was going to university for playing guitar and then it was like so funny because he'd be like missing lectures just to play just to get <laughs> fucked up with me and oh, play okay. guitar do you know what i mean that was like it he'd call school and be like oh sorry i'm he's scottish so he speaks like this he's like oh sorry i've got a job today when all he would do is just be getting drunk with me like playing songs yeah. you know what i mean well that's important i think yeah. for development yeah, ex yeah, exactly. If you didn't do, I mean, you're we're the same age. You're yeah, 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 ninety seven. Yeah, so I feel like you, if you, if you kept going to school, if your friend kept doing the the traditional route, probably you would you would have not got that. Into I this think point. that's it. I think like there was su there was such severe stuff going on with kind of the people I was meeting, the stories I was hearing within young people especially in London, you know what I mean? And me, by me going out and meeting people and hearing them about what they have to say about their sexuality or gender or politics or their ideas, mm -hmm. they were like, that was educating me more than anything else was. Yeah. Yeah, and that sure. was inspiring me to write songs or to kind of create art based on those things they were telling me. You were living. I was living, you know what I mean? What, what is me? <laughs> Stava vivendo. Ah, you're living. Yeah. yeah. Experience. And then um, that was inspiring me more than <clears throat> anything else. And I think that was when I was starting to write those songs and about those subjects that I was talking to my friends about. That's when Youngblood started to yeah. gain traction from the people, but not the industry. And when was that? Like <sighs> five, six years ago? Yeah, I was, we were 18. I was 18 and album was about 20, 21. It's not so much time ago. Yeah. No, not that. Not. It's pretty crazy. It was like, I think when like, we were, I was like, meet, I was meeting with labels and l labels were telling me to go on The Voice and shit. Uh-huh. And, and I was like. Cos'è? Gli dicevano di andare al talent. Oh, The Voice. You know what yeah. I mean? And I was like, it, was, it wasn't going to be my path because they had, everyone in my life almost had a, a plan for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Everyone had a, an idea of what the fuck I should be and kind of everything I was hearing from young people is the same. Yeah. Everyone feels like they have a plan for us. They expect us to conform and they expect us to shut the fuck up. And we, and I could feel this movement of it was like an elastic band was getting pulled back and 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 about to be let go generationally. Yeah. yeah I could sure. fucking feel it. I could feel it. But their their plan was matching with your plan? It, It was, it was not, no, it oh, never right. was. And then, then I met two people um, who were my managers now, still today. And they just wanted to fuck, fuck the game up. Yeah. And, and I was like, I want to write songs about this. These are my songs. This is I Love You, You Marry Me and King Charles and Polygraph Eyes and these early songs that were about like things I'd heard, experiences that I had, like Brexit, the fact that young people were pissed off about fucking Brexit. Oh, what felt, do you think about Brexit? Oh, it's fucking a, a joke. I'm so, I'm so you like were, ashamed. Yeah, you were born European. I, that was the first, that was the first chance I had to vote. That was yeah. the first decision I had to vote <laughs> and I wanted to stay and so did, 
so many young people, all my friends, and uh, yeah, all and we young, were fucking all robbed. All the wrong generation, and, and we, Brexit. yeah, and we ro- got robbed, and that was the catalyst for my first songs. Yeah. Yeah. That idea, the first time I got to actually Guys. use my voice to make a difference, I got fucking it taken away from. Yeah, me. we here we have. Uh, uh, a historical guy called Barbero yeah. he says uh, la lotta di classe l'hanno vinta e c'è stata l'hanno vinta i ricchi come lo dici uh, the, the war between classes w- was uh, the rich people won it it was like it was it was it was an older generation it was yeah. it was it, to be honest what was crazy was, is the, the way they won Brexit was they came up with a load of literal lies yeah. literal wow. lies and put them on buses and put them on the sides of the building yeah. and 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 people who were older who had been who had lived in the uk without the european union yeah. were like yeah we can go back there we can go back there oh, wow. and if you got to look at the state of our politics at the minute and what is going on um in our in our government at the minute we are literally being laughed at it's yeah. it's, it's weird stupid. it's what? really weird because the sentiment we have in italy about the brexit in uk from the england people it's uh, england people want it mm-hmm. no it's, <laughs> it's weird it depends like uh, obviously that uh, it came out to a, a, a majority yeah. but it was so close it was fit 40 49 51. Uh, where, where do you live now i live in london yeah so you 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 have i'm on tour all the time so i don't really live anywhere yeah you know what i mean i'm kind of like i live between london and la and milan and france and australia yeah. and japan okay in, in your suitcase in my suitcase yeah. basically <laughs> it's ah uh, oh, basically we have a very good story to say your uh, album debut uh, first in the charts in uk yeah it was crazy nice. wow wild couldn't wow. believe it at uh, one time i was uh, first in charts in malta <laughs> wow <laughs> thank you thank fucking you. Malta I've never been to Malta do you like it nobody no, Malta no, nobody cares about British Malta British people and Italian people oh, I very, think there's right? people in Malta where is Malta I think there's only animals and stuff. no yeah, Italians yeah <laughs> where Italians, is, animals yeah. where is Malta it's in the sea near in the sea <laughs> yeah. it's in the sea yeah <laughs> oh, near Greece not gonna be wrong near Greece, Greece? no uh, it's near nobody Greece. knows where my <laughs> it's ah, under this under, under Sicily. Sicily yeah ah yeah fire cool yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to go so first yeah. time first first charts uh, position in UK is not first charts uh, in Malta but it's good oh it was pretty crazy it, yeah. w- it was pretty yeah. wild because it was it's like uh, yeah I, I, it's pretty mental when you wake up oh yeah and you put something out and you, it just kind of goes to number one and you're like wow it's so crazy. I mean, Shit. I I feel like our generation has the time so not stretched. Like everything happens so quick. Yeah. Do you do you realize actually how how little time took you I th- to to, I, oh, to get here? I think it. I think it's 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 the first time ever I've kind of like come to the end of the year and been like, yo. I need a week off. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think we've been going even through like the pandemic and shit. We kept working and it was wild and it's so crazy that that I always look at a record and like, oh my god, that's yeah, we I made that. You and know you're what I mean? touring and you're everywhere. Yeah, it's fun. You're in Italy and the- it's crazy, bro. Like that, I love Italy. I think the story in Italy for us has been so wild. You know what I mean? I can't believe it. Italy was one of the first countries to get behind. Young blood and I was like, wow, you know what I mean? It's it literally like we played a bar and then we played Fabrique and then we played Caraponte and then we now we play the forum next year. It's crazy. And it's just like been so quick. Oh, you you play the forum? In uh, in March. In March? Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Which is wild, yeah. You know I mean, I'm just like, wow. I think there is a good movement about uh, pop punk. I, I, yeah. I don't know how to say. No, no, no I, I just I think it's all, it's just alternative. I think alternative music is coming too. Like I cuz the thing for me is I think the movement it's it's so um it's so i think it's generational i yeah. think it's yeah. it's the same it's billy eilish lil nas x mac miller lil peep mgk these 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 Icons. artists that are, are, are saying things um 
to a generation you know what i mean and it was crazy yeah. to kind of come up within that cycle of music and i think that's the new alternative yeah sure but i think you and, and mgk start a new wave oh it was yeah i think it was it was we always talk about that you know what i mean i think like when we we can try to call him when we sat down <laughs> where is he i think he's in america he might be asleep so, yeah it's six in the morning six probably. in the morning yeah he might be just going to bed to be honest <laughs> <laughs> um but i i remember when we we started that it was like i remember i met travis when i did 11 minutes with travis and halsey and then parents came out and then i got a call are you engaged with halsey sorry no 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 sorry, no no sorry, no, no, not, no, not, no no that that ended like two and a half years ago oh, okay sorry got a new sorry uh, <laughs> no nah, no you're vibing you're vibing man um my girlfriend's called jesse joe jesse joe jesse joe stark yeah you'd love her ah it's from cromart yeah yeah, yeah? she's gorgeous oh, wow. man yeah she's a legend Ch wow, yeah yeah sure My, my my wife work in fashion too. Oh cool man, vibe. Yeah. Oh shit, we should go on a double date. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you should come as well. <laughs> yeah, I'd be the, the third. You could be the third, the third baby, wheel. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the fifth. With your fucking weird sex toy, I'm down. <laughs> um, yeah, with this one. Um but yeah, it was like and and when that song happened, I just got a call and I was like, yeah, I was like, fucking American number, who's this? Oh, is it? Travis Barker. No, it was fucking MGK. I was like, yo, ah, MGK, okay. I was like, yo what's up? It's, uh, it's Colson. I was like, <laughs> all right, mate, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. And you know when you can feel so you're going to be mates even down the phone? Yeah. I was like, oh, are yeah. you fucking, we're, we're, we're vibing here. It's amazing. So I was like, he was like, come over to my house. I was like, all right, fuck it, I'll come to your house. And then I went to the house and it, I basically just walked in the house and I had a fucking kilt on, I had a skirt on. <laughs> and I walk into MGK's house, right? I don't even knock. He always tells his story. I was like, I didn't knock. Walked in and everyone's like, do you know what I mean? Downstairs smoking weed with the hoods on. And he's in a studio in the back. So these people are like, what the fuck? Why is a fucking, Who is why me? is a man in a dress <laughs> yeah. in the fucking house? Who's this guy? And I was like, all right, Who's lads. Hi, guys. And then I open my mouth and they're all just, even more fucking yeah, weird like, he's like, pretending uh, to be british yeah it's like why is this weird man who's pretending to be british in a, in a dress uh asking me where the machine gun is you know what i mean and they were just like yo he's in the back and i was like hello and, and me and colson i was like hello colson how are you doing and then we just he just had this pulled up on his computer and then we just went watch me take a good thing and fuck it all up in one night. And I got in the booth and what we were doing was so inspiring. I think when you meet someone for the first time, it's like now, right? Our fucking energy is Yeah. Wow. But if we meet each other next time, it might be a little bit more yeah, chill. It depends on But the that first time, I think that song, yeah. it just like, we kind of had something to prove to each other. We were kind yeah, of like- Yeah, like challenging. We, we were challenging each other or we were, or we were kind of sussing each other out or kind of falling in love as friends you yeah. know what i mean in that moment and you and you capture that, that exact that, moment that moment is the is what's on tape that's crazy wow, amazing you know what i mean and it was done in an hour i remember yeah. i think i'm okay it was done in an hour you those are the best ones that was crazy and we fuck and then we then we just if, if you think in the past it's not possible something like that No, probably even technically. You, technically, yeah. you have to put the fucking. Yeah. <laughs> you have to throw, throw the, yeah, you have to all get the analogic ready for stuff. That, yeah. I think I think that was that was what was cool because we 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 love you know I mean we we have a really mutual I love Oasis you know I mean I think I grew up on that band, and you can tell with those records it was all about feeling, and I think especially in America you can get lost and bogged down in technical recording. Yeah. Yeah. Takes like fucking two hours to mic up a drum set, and I'm like, I want to get in the fucking booth, man. Yeah, and everyone's just like, Oh, yeah, man, but the mic's not fucking right. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And I'm I just almost, do it. yeah, I'm almost just like, I'm fucking feeling it in my balls, man. I want to like fucking explode, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And then that was, I think you can hear it in the vocals. Yeah. That song is just like, fuck it. It's we like, it. it's like a train that's going off the fucking hinges, you know what I mean? And 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 it was cool, it was. And, and we didn't know what it would start. What, you know what? what I mean? We didn't know that it would start a yeah. lot of, ba it would start 
a lot of hatred and a oh, lot yeah. of love and that's what rock and roll's about and that's yeah. why it's been missing for so long because there's been no conversation around yeah, provoking it provoking something oh it's always it's all been so fucking safe blend yeah because there's, there's no fucking opinion it's like water it had about as much charisma as water yeah because you, i feel like people want to play it safe and not you know I mean? get cancelled you drink this and you're like yeah, it's fucking water. <laughs> but you want, you know what I mean? If you drink whiskey, you go, oh, or you go, fuck yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the point. I think like, that's the vibe. Yeah. And I think that's what I want to do with music. And I think what rock and roll should always do because it rock, me, rock, rock to me means freedom. Yeah, sure. Freedom to express without conformity, without fear, without judgment, without fucking critics, without all that bollocks. It's like, in that moment, what are you gonna say? Yeah, yeah. Many artists get lost in the critics and the the. Oh, bro! I'm say. not even lying to you. Like it's it's just it's such a it, it, the purity gets attacked. Like from my first album to this album, as you get like a lot bigger and whatever, and more people start looking at you, more people start have, uh, having things to say. And I think what music is to me is it's a little bit of your heart, right? Yeah. And someone is criticizing your heart. But I think to any artist out there, don't let that get to you because it's all opinion based and it's all, it's all fucking, it's all somebody else's um, feeling on a feeling. Yeah. And yeah. that's fine because not met, you know what I mean? And I think if someone is having a feeling, even if it's hatred or resentment or love, you've done something right. Mm -hmm. If you're not feeling anything, then you're fucking. You're not. You're not making art to yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like you. Yeah. You have to keep that um, strength that you said uh, you had to go against what but other people I, I put think, into you. Oh, your, fully. And I think it's really hard for an artist, maybe in Italy, to re recognize that like a freedom. May maybe it's hard when this. I I, I talk I talk about me, no my experience but when uh, when you start when you are a uh, underclass underdog and uh, un yeah it came from an underclass when this dream became a job your fear to go down yeah. to be to, go back. Indietro, to yeah. go back completely became your uh, your ardor's nightmare. It's so funny, bro. Because ca can I tell you something? I'm almost. I'm up. Check. Did I just? Yep. The you, fuck. You can't we can what? hear you. We can hear you. I don't care. Yeah, I'll just <laughs> take these off. I'll just say my like fear. Check. Check the chicken. 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 <laughs> can't hear. Fuck all. Oh, I senti? like the sound, bro. I know, but the sound of the microphone is like fuck. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? It's gone in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, no, no. Okay. You just vibe so much more when the fucking <laughs> compression's on, innit? You know what I mean? I feel like I'm a radio, but whatever. I was saying like, I'm in that position now, where it's like, I've started making the next project, even though this one has just come out. And I think with this project, this was such a, it was such a, a burst of creativity and almost a kickback to what people were saying about me. And now I've got that out of my system. I've gone back to, I feel like I'm about to write. I'm writing songs in the way that I did when I was 17. Nice. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. sitting in an hotel room and I'm fucking writing in my notebook and I'm doing whatever. Because up to now, Youngblood has been so busy. It's been tour studio, tour studio, yeah. tour studio. And I haven't actually got a fucking minute to feel. How can you not get it, get distracted? How can you? That, that's the thing. But now it's like with, with like with the songs like the funeral tissues, um, mad sweet heroin i wrote and boy in the black dress i wrote in, in in my bedroom and i think kind of like that was what i wanted to do and almost like not produce the songs immediately let them fucking sit on a voice note for three months and that's when you know if they're good enough or not yeah, yeah instead of time to build it. that's what i'm saying and it's just like it's fucking cool because I, it's kind of like i am going i am going backwards a little bit to kind of go forwards that's that's something that Picasso said, right? Uh, uh, to became to uh, learn to to draw like a kid. It took me like sixty years. Yeah. Bro, but I went to um, I went to a 
I went to an art gallery yesterday. I can't remember what it's called, but I just stumbled on it. It's the art school. It begins with a B. Brera. 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 It was the art school, right? I just went, I had time to kill. Yeah. And I stayed, I literally, all the boys went back to the UK because we were just in Belgium. But I was like, I'm going to come to Milan on my own. Yeah. And walk around. And I went to, I went to Brera. Yeah. That's Brera, what it's called, yeah. Brera. Yeah. Brera, Brera. And I had a look around and, and someone said it was just like, as a painter, I want to become a child because a child is fearless. Yeah. Yeah. A child doesn't, doesn't, walk around with insecurity it doesn't even know what insecurity is yet. yeah and they're <laughs> and child childs are cruel too. yeah <laughs> fully that's what i'm saying like, that's what i'm saying they're not they, they, they don't even take into account anything but yeah. what they feel in that moment and that is in, that is like art to it's me and true it's truth yeah. that's fucking truth and it's and it's so cool like to be able to have time to go to galleries and go to that shit and be oh, like, yeah. it's important, you know what I mean? And and um, already like, I'm 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 writing songs like every yeah. day. Yeah, it looks like you you, you can keep the um, you especially you can keep the the spark. I think with it, I think yeah, I think I think with it all, it's just like I'm not ready to be quiet yet. Yeah, because there's so many artists that just slow down and and they look like a light bulb turned off you know i think i think that's the problem with the west coast and with la you know oh, yeah. i mean when you go and write in la i wrote a lot of this last album in la and i was always battling with it's so fucking stale now that writing yeah. scene it's all wrapped up in 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 fucking partnerships and backhanders and the music industry's run out of there and everyone's kind of you know what i mean it's it doesn't feel real yeah. It's not fucking yeah. real. So I was just like, it's like Bowie, bruv. Like, if you've seen the Moon Age Daydream documentary, Bowie spent time in LA and, and felt exactly the same. So where did he go? He went to fucking Berlin. Yeah. And that's why he wrote Heroes. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and, and it's like, that's why when after the West Coast, I'm like, I'm in Milan. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to fucking go to a museum. Exactly. And I'm going to look at art that is seven, eight hundred, nine hundred years old with, with, that was done out of defiance that was done out of originality yeah. you know what i mean because that you can get lost in this fucking cycle man yeah. it's mental yeah you can go against the current and probably you'll do better than than following what others. i just think i think maybe in the moment you might not do better but it's 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 it will become it has more potential to become iconic in the yeah. long run yeah. in yeah. my opinion you know it's, what i mean let's talk about fame which me mi è venuta una domanda no mm -hmm. Cioè, lui non preferirebbe essere famoso solo in un paese in modo tale che non, gli ca cioè, che non ha problemi ad uscire. Yeah. Perché, for me, it's... Aspetta, se te lo... Faccio, faccio, okay. I'll do the translator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said... Um, <laughs> um, would you not prefer to be famous in just one country and, and being able to be free all around the world? It's so interesting fame to me because I never really got into it for it. You know, I mean, I think I wanted to start Youngblood to kind of um, find friends. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's it's so bizarre, that question, because now everywhere we go, we get recognized. Yeah. It's everywhere. It's in Spain, Brera. it's in Australia. Yeah, it's, you know what I mean? In Brera, you know what I mean? In, in, in Japan, in Latin America, it's everywhere now. Um, but I didn't really get into it for that. I got into it to kind of connect to people and kind of stand up because I was pissed off. Mm. You know what I mean? And I think it's very interesting because what originally started as a cult, like a culture, has become ev uh, everything now. Like on the radio in Italy, like a couple of months ago, I was like, no frizzante. As a joke, I was like, yo, ciao Italian, no frizzante. <laughs> And the the amount of older people yesterday was like, no frizzante. I was like, oh no, I'm the no frizzante man. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of becoming so much bigger than that. And it's weird because I never, you don't think about that until it happens. Yeah, sure. I think what the scary thing about fame is, is you walk down a street and people either love you or they fucking hate you. And that is... And you don't know. No, I think there is another problem. So basically, I'm really famous in Italy. Nobody cares about me in the world, but in Italy, I'm like... Famous, yeah. Yeah, yeah top, but... Top five. Top five famous, okay. <laughs> so Hard. For me, 
for me it's really cioè, impossi- it's impossible to yeah, walk, to, to go anywhere to yeah, 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 yeah. To don't have security completely for my child so basically I think the people the mo- the, the pro- it's not it's not so relatable this uh, discussion but it's okay <laughs> for the yeah for, for our, the people yeah. but, uh, I don't, it's an insight I don't though. care I don't care uh, basically the people lo- uh, look you like the pizza tower yeah, yeah dude <laughs> like because that, because a fu- and a fucking object because that's was, hey fuck yeah ah! that's what it started to, that's what it started to be like for me and especially at home as well yeah or in America you know what I mean it's like whoa yeah. And I think, I, like, for me, I don't mind. I want, I got into this thing to go, hello, how are you? Yeah. Are you like me? Mm-hmm. I don't mind going out and taking a picture and blah, blah, blah. But that is weird when someone's like, yeah. yeah. It's like, what the, f- you don't know how to, I you don't know how to you know communicate. Kultsprau, Kultsprau, the actor. Kultsprau. Proud. Yeah, Zach and Cody. Zach and oh, Cody yeah, guy. yeah, 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 yeah. Cole <laughs> Sprouse. Cole Sprouse. Oh, Cole Sprouse. That's her <laughs> accent. Cole <laughs> Sprouse. I'm like, who? Who the Cole fuck? Cole Sprouse. Who's Sprouse? I'm down. <laughs> he has a, a Instagram yes, profile. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, That's so amazing. good. It's called, um, what's it called? Camera Wars or something. And it's just yeah. like the amount of people who are on. So it's that. But we started um, doing that. And we were in an elevator once um, in New York. And someone was like pretending to like text yeah. and their flash went off in my face. <laughs> and and I was just literally, I, I, I was, it was funny because they were so embarrassed, but I was like trying to like make it chill. You're, you're fine. Yeah. Man. I was like, that's, I was just like, that's funny. I was like, can I, t-? and I was like, all right, fine. Let me take a picture of you. Yeah. And I took a picture of them and they were just like, all right, cute us, bang. And then walked out. Yeah. I was like, we good. We good. Let's go. You saved yeah. him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I know you, you, you know Damiano from Maneskin. I know, I know the guys. Yeah? I know, I know Vic the most. Vic Victoria. Is, Victoria. Victoria. She is crazy. She is. She's crazy. She is a light man. In in that, you know, what I mean, she has um, got so much energy. Yeah. I think are, I, I know. Uh, I they know. Are so cool live. Yeah, the, I um, I know Vic very well. I, I know yeah. the rest of the band, but not as well as Vic. Oh, okay, okay. You know, what I mean, I think me and Vic. Are, I know Damiano, and Damiano tells me you work on something. Yeah, we we were. I like. I like they. Um, I like the fact that they're playing guitar and I, I, they were big in Italy and a band like no one, you know what I'm saying? No rock and roll bands kind of explode out of Italy. You know the story? Uh, basically, we had uh, uh, together, me and uh, Maneskin, have this uh, race, are you say? Yeah, it, it was like the, the, the biggest, not talent show, but like the biggest music festival in Italy. And they were and top it's two. A, but it's Maneskin a and Fede. But it's a challenge. And they, uh, loro sono arrivati primi. Come si dice? They won. They won, and I became uh, second place. Oh no! Place. And uh, the story is uh, when uh, uh, they are to announce the the, the, wi- the winner. Uh, I say to Damiano and all the band. Uh, so if if you want, guys, the drummer have to give me a blowjob. <laughs> And they won. <laughs> Did that happen? No, never happened. Oh. Never happened, but it's a good story. But that I think the thing about it is what 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 was interesting about them to me when I when they came out because I'm I'm English and I don't really fucking believe anything. They if, start from this, uh, this competition. Yeah. They come, that so they so I was cynical at the start. I was like, all right, who's this band that have won a competition? But then I met them and kind of like talk, like talking to Vic and talking to. And they kind of re- they mean it. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I think they mean it. And I think um, I love her. And I've 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 met D a couple times. Um, it's always been really busy though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we've met at award shows and stuff. Yeah. It's good for you not to believe in uh, in stuff. That's what Being I'm saying. British. But but I, but I the thing for me is I don't believe in pe- if people say a band shit. I go I'm gonna meet them for myself and yeah. I'm gonna make that decision. Yeah. And. Um, I heard they, someone told me they came to our Brixton show years ago and um, and uh, I sat down with Vic and I don't know, I just like their vibe. I like their energy yeah. and I like the fact that they're kind of doing their thing. And, we know, start from buskers. And I, I yeah, think what's buskers. fucking cool is like, it's a new generation of rock and roll. Ah, and you know, I'm the judge. They come from X Factor. Oh my God, no way. And, and you were judging them. I was them. the judge. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I, that's what I'm saying. I just think like, I think there's a new generation of alternative and rock music coming out that that needs to em- 
it be embraced and needs to be heard yeah. and I'm fucking down for it as long as people are playing guitar and fucking shaking their ass in leather pants I love it yeah there's you know? so many new opportunities because there's it's like we said before it's um, it's easy for everyone to do it almost today you know with social media and stuff but uh, it feels like the careers are so short you know so absolutely I think I think that the, the thing for me is I never wanted to be a trend yeah never yeah. bothered about that i'm never bothered about being here and gone it was always about the people yeah don't care how many records are sell really yeah. or like what that's what i'm saying it's always about the people it's the like long yeah. term that's became a, a trend it's the scariest it's, thing it's gone yeah it's gone like if yeah. you have a fucking without a foundation and like without a message i was never interested in that i was always interested in in people and connecting to people that's why tomorrow night we're playing three shows in a night in a <laughs> tiny club how many Where? people how many people does it hold a gate? Yeah, yeah, a gate, piccolo. Nice. Five. E quante ne fa? Tre? Ma quando? Ah, domani. Il pomeriggio? You know, yeah, it was oh, just wow. like, and I was just like, before we play the forum, I want to play free 500 wow. seaters because... Because you like the club. I like the, I like the vibe and I like, as I say, like, it's almost like a thank you yeah. to Italy yeah. like you like that the forum is what 10,000 15,000 10,000 10, and I was like that's 11,000 that's you know what I mean that's, 11, that's crazy to me it's that's crazy. like fuck me you know what I mean in yeah. Italy you so did it, you did in England the stadium kind of we did uh, we do uh, we do arenas in, in, in England like 15,000 15,000 but like we'll do them all over the country you know? I remember uh, crazy. Uh, I do one time a show with 80,000 people in, that's in the stadium. In, uh, in San Siro. San Siro. Bro, that's crazy. I was there last night. And it was uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah, you watched the, the, you. the soccer game? Yeah, I watched, you watched the soccer yeah. game. You like football? Like yeah, soccer? I, like I do, soccer? yeah. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. With a, uh, it's 360 with a stage in the middle. That is so yeah, cool. Bro, that is wild. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. And uh, I, I, I understand, uh, I like, uh, this, this is cool when you do a stadium, but the club, but the club vibe, it's different. It's really I different. Think, I think it's, I think forever, like, that's, that's my dream. I want to, I want to play stadiums all over yeah. the world. That would be like a wow, that would be yeah. amazing. You can do it, you can I, do yeah, it. Yeah, and, and I, I'm really going to try my best, you know what I mean? But I think I always want to give back. I think that's how, partly how you get there, yeah. because it's like family always, you know what I mean? And it's just like. I think I just want to always be close to everyone. Yeah, because as you said, uh, in a world where artists are like water, they're, yeah. they, they, they're tasteless or something. Blood's like, thicker than water. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want to become, uh, I mean, you are, um, your goal is to be uh, provocative or yeah. I mean, to provoke something, a thought, uh, um, a, reaction. A, a reaction, whatever in a in a listener. I just think it's and to tell the truth and to kind of it, to, almost to kind of say that you can still make it in music by telling the truth. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think yeah. like I think that's for sure. I think that's to any young artist or any young people like in this life, you will get further in the long run. May not, maybe not in the short term by telling the truth, yeah. but in the long run. Oh, yeah. yeah, Sex Pistols can't exist yeah. in this time. It was you, it, you, you know, for me, Sex Pistols are the first boy band ever. I love the Sex Pistols. I love too, you know but what I'm saying? I, I love... Uh, I, but I, I think I, I what I liked... To, that's, yeah, but what, that's <laughs> what I liked about it. That's what I liked about it. I think it was fucking amazing because... Michael McLaren was a genius. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like with it all, they had an idea that yeah. they all represented. Johnny, but he Vivian, had an idea. But, but Michael McLaren had an idea. But but Steve, I know Steve really well. They they were pissed off kids. They were like, they wrote the songs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They yeah, wrote the yeah, yeah. they wrote the words. They wrote the riffs. And it was what I loved about that. Vivian Westwood represented the same things: anti-fascism and and um and a, a generation that were pissed off with with the government. Yep. And they put it in music and fashion and and it changed the face of music. Yeah, they changed the face of music with nine songs. Yeah, <laughs> with one album, all, yeah, one, one album. Fucking album. I, think that, I think that's what makes them iconic, you know what I mean? I think if the Sex Pistols would have had a second album, yeah. I think it would have not, I don't think it would have been as I iconic. Changed, they yeah. changed the history with 
only one one album. album. That's probably what <laughs> changed history. That, because, that um, was it. It to was be like, iconic. You have to be limited. That's something. the thing because it's like a lot of people. A lot of people, especially punk fans, don't give them, don't say, don't like them. You know what I mean? But I just yeah. think they were, they were influential. They 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 were fucking no, i think the embodiment of punk is freedom of speech and they inspired a, a fucking generation to speak out yeah. and i think that's cool as fuck and like obviously like i love black flag i love the damned i love the exploited you know what i mean mm -hmm. but i i just i love the sex pistols because i love i i, I just fucking loved the freedom i loved the, i love the freedom and i love the idea and i love yeah, what yeah, they did yeah. with the market and i, I think it's fucking it's, killer it's a fucking story of uh, music marketing philosophy because michael mclaren absolutely michael mclaren was a situationist yeah and, yeah, and, and, uh, it's and so but vivian and vivian westwood and still vivian westwood today is an activist on on the environment and like clothing and yeah. and and uh and, and empowerment you know yeah cool it's so weird the the, the freedom of speech uh, thing is a, it's like a hot topic in the 21st century fully yeah and um we we said in this podcast many times that um Usually, freedom of speech and politically not correctness was from the left, and now it's switched to the right. Yeah. You know, and it's um, and music should be uh, about freedom in general, not political, not uh, whatever. Right? I mean, you, an artist should be able to say whatever he wants in in whichever context and stuff. I think I think people should be allowed to be to be. Uh to be open in the music I think it'd be make, make me a hypocrite I think like there's there is no love without like hate and I want to alleviate that hate my goal is to fucking destroy that hate you know what I'm saying um but I, I just like I can't say say what you want and then if someone says something yeah. bad you say to them F like obviously I'm going to say fuck you yeah. but I'm not yeah. going to tell you to shut your mouth because that's not my message my message is to fight for love and equality and freedom oh. but I cannot yeah. I cannot be a hypocrite yeah you know what I'm saying and censor yeah you have some um, arguments with uh, the politician in UK I think yeah Sunak at the minute he's, like, he's literally like kind of he is t he's taking trans people out of the uh, an equality act and I'm like, it's it's fucking barbaric. It's just like, what you do? Like, why why would that even cross your mind? Mm -hmm. Do you understand me? It's yeah. like, why would that even be? Why would that even cross your fucking mind? I just think these these people are so, they're so um, self absorbed and and doing it for this for for personal gain instead of listening and understanding. I think like, there's yet to be a politician in years who doesn't want to doesn't want to speak and wants to listen and mm. then speak after it <laughs> yeah sure you know what i'm saying i yeah, just think sure. like what like when people say what what would people what what do you say to your fans i'm like i don't say anything i fucking listen nice. and then i fucking respond you know what i mean i think that's any i think any person with a platform or any musician or any like politician or whatever should take that into account and right now it feels like people are just barking at us and saying things um and 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 lying and not delivering and not listening and, and it's it's, and an, it's shit yeah do you feel like this in the short run uh, it's um it's a problem i think i think it is i think to be honest i think the biggest game that i say is to get out and vote mm -hmm. young people because at the end of the day you, we may not win now we may not win we may not win tomorrow, but we are gonna be in the shoes very soon. We became the old guy. That's what I'm saying. Tomorrow. That's <laughs> that. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm the old guy no, right no. now. But I think I think if Halfway. but the but the morals that you carry are that of the same as mine. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean. And now you are 33, and and I am gonna be 30, and what you're gonna be 40, and I'm gonna be 50, and I, you know what I'm saying. And if we carry those morals, the hatred becomes yeah. eradicated and i think that's that's it communicate and vote man yeah yeah that's a good message yeah. i feel like you can see which are the young people that are gonna be the the bad old people right now you can you can pick 
the the young people yeah. that are it's it's the it's bad old people. That's what I'm saying. It's lame, but it's kind of it's 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 gonna become it's it's gonna become eradicated. Yeah. I believe it. You know what I mean? It's just like because it's getting it's getting people. The internet has so much power now mm -hmm. to eradicate it. Like, I mean, you got to look at Kanye West at the minute. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> it's 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 like it's like what is, what you have been saying. It's like disgusting. Yeah, yeah. You know so what I'm saying? Stupid. And 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 it's just like you can't get away with it anymore. Yeah. And thank thank fuck because people will call you out on it. You know? Yeah. And and people uh, like the youngsters that follow you and follow Kanye and follow us. It's so crazy to think that they're gonna become the the politics of tomorrow. So Absolutely, yeah, sure. and that's and there's such a responsibility. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I don't think it's a responsibility. It's yeah. I mean, there's some manage, kind of I think, I to think, manage your life. Your uh, I think if you have a power platform, you have. I think if you have a platform that big like Kanye West, you gotta watch what you say. Yeah, sure. I think because like diehard Kanye fans will listen to everything he says and if that's an anti-Semitic and they will become anti-Semitic that is not fucking but good but I, I yeah. think nobody cares cioè tutti hanno sempre da negli ultimi dieci anni hanno sempre visto Kanye come un, un rincoglionito yeah <laughs> he said that probably people don't even listen to Kanye anymore because in the last 10 years, 10 he, years he he's looks so like stupid. A, a crazy guy. <laughs> he makes all these stupid... Well, it depends. It's like it depends. a lazy, he's a lazy rich guy. No, the, the fact that, they, that he's a billionaire or he was makes his words worth something, no. you know? People were like... I, I mean, saw he, him like a stupid, lazy, rich yeah, guy. But, <laughs> but the, the, the average maybe just thinks... I mean, he, he must have been on onto something if, if he's a billionaire he's, he makes sense I think I think, I think it's I think what he I think what he represented in the beginning yeah sure for sure was was an idea that that was that was beautiful and liberating and free and I think that over the years the industry and the people around him have maybe warped his mind and what he has to say right now is just disgusting Yeah. And yeah. I don't fucking back it and I used to like you but I just think you're I think you're um uh, um uh, you've become ignorant and and it's sad. Yeah. Because I looked up to you once upon a time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he's 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 the the, the he's the guy that we were talking about up when we were talking about fame. You know, people has changed him probably. Oh, it's crazy. It's I think I think power and mm. and believe in your own I, bullshit. I don't think so. I think it che viveva proprio fuori dal mondo he lives outside the, the world but he lives outside he lives of the world in a fucking bubble yeah because people everything you if you are Kardashian yeah. uh, I don't know if you're friends Be because but you if cannot you are, live like if you a are Kardashian person. if you are that kind of people you live outside the world you live in another universe yeah and I think uh, that is, it's so scary for me absolutely I think. to forget where, it, where I come from where my family suffer uh, it's the scariest things ever because when you have money when you have uh, fame it's super hard to, to stay rest focused. focus on life completely on the real on life. the real life yeah completely yeah you're but, right yeah but i i feel like um uh it's a struggle to not listen to how you get treated by people you know probably you you're like oh, the most same yeah. people but if you get treated <laughs> like the pizza tower and uh and uh, like oh it's uh, insane it's like that's been the biggest thing that's yeah. been the biggest shock ever like the the internet and people and what people can say about you become you you're right you become the pizza tower because people either like it or they don't but they don't they don't know it's got a heartbeat yeah, yeah. and then you isolate yourself to become normal but then you become an alien, then you try to communicate to people and you're an alien. So it's, it's uh, so funny, yeah, it's, it's such it's a weird. cycle. It's like, <laughs> I said to myself, I feel like I'm 15 again in high school, been going through the same shit that made me start Youngblood in the first place, but it's on so a completely good. different level. You know what I mean? And it's interesting, isn't it? With power. I mean, you have, um, you can, with freedom of, uh, of being an adult and maybe the, the possibility that your career is giving you, 
So you can you can make whatever you want now. Yeah, that's. I think that's what's beautiful. No, and, you can, and you can kill some <laughs> someone. You can't if you want. You can't. To. If you want, you you can. <laughs> That's you can funny. hire somebody but yeah it's uh <laughs> you won't i mean you, you look like a good guy but yeah it, it, it looks like you, you can you can you can manage well the fame it looks like you're so comfortable in your skin i think i think i am until i'm not <laughs> you yeah. know what i mean i think they some days are good days some days are bad days but i think i'm learning to kind of block out the noise and focus on the truth yeah. are you happy yeah i think yeah. i am i think i think i think I have just got here. Yeah. Just got here? Che cazzo vuol dire? Appena arrivato. Just got you know, I mean, I've just, I've just kind of got to, <laughs> got to that, like, that kind of comfortability and happiness in terms of what's going on. And I'm, it just makes me excited. Because yeah. I think when you kind of get to that place, that's when you get to be fearless again. Yeah. And that's when the best art comes out. There are, oh, yeah. there are just things in, in the world it's imparare a vivere learn learn how to live how to live yeah i feel like it's got it's, if you have a, a good mind if you if you're good at uh, understanding what's going on it just gets better in completely life. i feel like 30 becomes like a you become wiser and wiser with time you know fully so so, so you can if you can keep the 15 years old you the creative kid and the 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 mature uh, responsible adult i mean even not responsible but the, yeah. the adult that can do stuff that's the perfect cocktail you want to put a family yeah fuck yeah when one day i don't know you don't know <laughs> when you want to have a kid yeah i, I, I pfft, probably like the best age 28 29 28 28 29 30 kids. i think you know what i mean she i want like 28 i want when i was 28 <laughs> I want kids I think one day absolutely I want some little fuckers running around and where, that where, where is the next uh, step oh, yeah. when you leave for the, the new life when 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 you leave for uh, another person yeah. person yeah yeah it's it's hard to explain but oh yeah it's cool it, gra it pulls you down to earth doesn't it Boom. what oh yeah sure yeah for sure bang but we we said here in the podcast many times that for an artist it feels like you're making babies right now yeah so your albums your songs it feels like you're not missing a piece of or, or something you you're already I, creating that's i think i think what's uh, kind of be, um i'm grateful for as well like my fan base feels fa like a family mm -hmm. and they look after each other and it feels like that yeah And I think that's what's kind of almost uh, kind of special and, 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 and rare right now. You know what I mean? It feels like it feels they connect to each other. You know what I mean? When you go to a Youngwood show, it's like so tight. Yeah. And you're the glue. It's, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. That it's just like vum that they, like when I leave Milan, Youngblood doesn't leave Milan. You know what I mean? They are Youngblood. They represent it. They spread the message. They they like they're everywhere and it kind of just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then it kind of that's when you start seeing them in the street when you didn't expect to because they're just so many of them now because they talk about you and stuff it, everyone they talk to each other and they talk about they take like the thing about it is it's like it would be nothing without them taking the message and carrying it forward it would just be nothing so you prefer the message to outlive you i think so i think i'd i prefer the message to outlive the music because I think the message is doing something to the world even if people don't even know who the fuck Youngblood is. Yeah, that's, that's I think good. it's cool. affecting the world even if people don't know it is. It's something that selflessness is not something that the industry likes, probably. Nah, the that's industry that. wants to, you, you to sell yourself, to be you, oh, completely. you on top of everything Com and everybody. But, it, but it's not about, that's the thing, that's what I want to say. It's less about me and it's more about the movement with Youngblood. You know what I mean? It's just like, that's why I kind of called this album Youngblood and did this image because it's kind of almost like a closing of a chapter. Whereas it's like the next part of my career. 
is going to be about enhancing the movement and the thing. It's like, I don't need to put my face out Boy, there anymore. Marcia su Roma. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah that's, good. That's, that's, that's good planning, actually. <laughs> because uh, if you can uh, free yourself of your image and stuff, it's more sustainable. In I, the... just, I just think it's about, it's about the idea yeah. now more than ever. You know what I mean? And that's like almost going backwards. You know what we were talking about earlier? Yeah. Cool, bro. It's fucking mental. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. What? Yeah, we started with the dildos and now we're so... I know, we're, fucking We go so deep. I know, yeah. we did get deep, didn't we? And my fucking... English is not so bad. No, it's not bad at <laughs> yeah. all. Like, you're fucking killing it. Woo! I'm Thanks telling you. Media, regazzo. What, one, one week in London, you'll be fucking yeah. fine with me. I'll teach you all the slang. We ended up. Sì, with ciao this. Italia, ti amo. Yeah. Grazie, Young Blood, per essere stato con noi. Thank you. Thank you so much Grazie. to be with us. Yeah, and good luck with the music. Rock and roll. Thank, Thank you, guys. Legend. Ciao, legends, ci vediamo alla prossima puntata di Muschio <laughs> Seven. Seven. Oh, sorry, sorry. Fucking left me hanging there. <laughs>